How many of you lie? Show me hands. May Allah reward you. Because you're honest. I teach the youth every Thursday night. And we were talking about the story of Sayyidina Yusuf. So we came to the verse when the brothers b brought the shirt with the fake blood. So what do you t teach the youth? You're not going to teach them tafsir. What is the message? Lying. So I asked them. There would be 50 girls were in that class between 12 and 18. So it was basically high schoolers and mid school. And I said, how many of you lie? Everybody. Not a single hand stayed. And these are the best of the best. These are homeschoolers, wahfal. And I say, why do you lie? And I'm asking you this question. Why do you lie? You all raised your hand. Yes. Scared. I can't hear you. Scared, scared. You're scared. That's exactly what the youth said. And I said, scared of what? And for them, they said, punishment. Listen to me. I looked at them and I said, I grew up in a house. Do anything but don't lie. It was a no, no, no. It doesn't befit you. This is how we grew up. So I told them, I have never lied in my life. Literally, you should see these girls. <sighs> Literally. And there was one, 12 looks like six. She looked at me and says, never. <laughs> yeah, she was sitting there. Like, and I said, Mariam, never. Really? This is how she is. And I said, why do I want to uh, lie? Yani, I'm going to get punished. You know what? If I get punished for something I did, that means I deserve it. And I say, why did you, why do you lie? I took a lollipop from my mother's purse. She came back and says, who took, where is this lollipop from? She says, from my friend. Lying is a major sin. Why I'm saying this? Because Allah says, in Allah yuhibbu sadiqeen. Allah loves those who are truthful. The opposite is true. He does not like. Imagine I have something that Allah doesn't love. How he's going to love me? You want to be close to Allah? Why do you lie? Scared of what? If I, my focus is on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from A to Z. I'm scared for you from a human being and not scared from him. True or false? I'm scared from the punishment of a human being or the saying of a human being or the look of a human being, but I'm not scared from him on the day of judgment. When I'm standing in front of him and he's gonna look at me and says, you didn't say the truth. Why? You were, you were afraid of a and B or X and Y and Z, and you are not afraid from me. I'm all hearing, all seeing. Do you want pure heart? Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clean your heart because you can't do it alone. I can't do it alone unless he helps me. And I always say this to Allah. I say, Ya Rabbi, I can't. A human being is weak. What can I do? But you can make it. Literally, I say, strip my heart. Strip my heart from arrogance. Everybody is better than me. I love the saying of Sayyidina Umar. When the woman stood up and says, you're wrong. And she quoted the verse from the Quran. She was right. And he said, Sadaqat al the woman is right and Umar is wrong. Everybody is more knowledgeable than you, Umar. Everybody is more knowledgeable than you, Umar. Umar. Learn to be honest with yourself. One. Second, don't justify the disobedience of Allah. Don't. Say exactly what you showed me today. That's why I told you it's a very good news. Say I'm weak. Say I lie. Say I'm jealous. I have jealousy in me. Acknowledge it. And turn to Allah and say, Ya Allah, cure me. 
Ya Allah, cure me. Ya Allah, remove. Is all what I, what I do for my soul. Remove everything from my surroundings and my life that will make your disobedience easier. Did you get it? Because I'm, you have to acknowledge. Identify the diseases you have. And once you start working on cleaning, and I said his name. Every time you remove one, you don't know what he does. And he will throw another thing in it, a good thing in it.